Hello, it's uh, Tad Jones. I'm the director of the Will Rogers Memorial Museum. Kind of a surreal day here in Claremore. Uh, looks like there's tears over Claremore today as we're dealing with the pandemic. And uh, the museum now is uh, closed. A lot of businesses being affected, but thought we might take a little walkthrough of one of our exhibits for you to watch, maybe with your family. And thought we'd do the diorama exhibit, a view through the life of Will Rogers. Joe Mora diorama exhibit. Diorama is Greek for a view through. So uh, as you walk in, over here to your left, a couple of ships that were named after Will, a ship and a submarine, a Liberty class ship for World War uh, II, and also this uh, nuclear submarine named after Will Rogers, which is incredibly unique to have a nuclear submarine named after you. And they had the 50th Reunion of the Will Rogers, USS Will Rogers submarine came to the memorial last year, which was great. Uh, on the other side of the wall, we have a, uh, a map of Will's travels around the world, which is fascinating to see what a world traveler he was. Love to get out and about. And uh, then we have our enhanced tour. So if you get a chance to go to willrogers.com and click on the enhanced tour, you can hear some details as well. So as we walk in here, we've got another sign for the dedication of the new wing that was done in 1982. And I've been told that behind this sign is a time capsule that will be opened in 2079, the 200th anniversary of Will's birth. So hopefully some of you can be around to see that. Uh, so let's walk in here to the diorama room. Joe Mora, amazing individual. His parents came from Spain, had incredible talent, and he spent a number of years making this diorama that was done in 1941 and then another part was done and finished in 1947 and then dedicated to the museum and this exhibit really is a lot of fun and uh, this is the the white house on the vertigris and just a beautiful diorama this is will as a kid with his dad clem right there beside him riding in he's got his uh, mom mary america scripture and his three sisters there and you can see a picture of the barn and we have one similar to that an amish barn at the birthplace and those trees are real that are in this diorama as well a wonderful display uh, this is uh, will rogers as a kid and will was a little bit rambunctious um, had a lot of demerits when he was in school he liked roping the girls which is what is depicted right there as kids watch on uh, this one is uh, very fascinating as well this is the uh, picture of claremore in 1895 a lot of details uh, Joe said he did it to scale. One foot equals uh, one inch. And so uh, this is two scale. He's got the uh, downtown, took a meticulous look at downtown Claremore. And there's the Claremore progress. And they still print Will Rogers quotes daily. And uh, there's Will Rogers riding through Claremore. Of course, he was born in Ulaga, but, but he called Claremore his home because he didn't think people could pronounce Ulaga. But beautiful depiction of downtown Claremore. Branding calves in Texas, so Will headed off to Texas for a little while, and here's a depiction of him roping a calf and then branding it as well. Uh, the details of the cattle, uh, the longhorns are just amazing. And uh, Will, again, an expert uh, roper and just love being a cowboy. And as we walk over to this one, I love the lighting in this particular one uh, over Will and then all the cattle in the background, the details uh, of that. And there's Will, it looks like he's singing. He did like to sing. And just every cow is different. Uh, and just a beautiful, beautiful diorama display uh, with all the cattle and the lighting on this one. And another one of his roping skills here, kind of the early precursor to the rodeo or the steer, steer roping. As the cowboys look on as Will ropes that steer and these dioramas used to all be in the gift shop area when I was a kid and then they were spread out around the museum and the birthplace and then all brought back together for this wonderful exhibit. Of course Will Rogers was in the Ziegfeld Follies and uh, made his way up through Wild West shows, made it on to Vaudeville and then the Ziegfeld Follies uh, where he really got his showbiz start and learned how to not only rope in front of a crowd but talk in front of a crowd as well. And then when radio got on the scene, Will Rogers, of course, got involved. And this is a depiction of him on the radio there in Pittsburgh. One of the first early radio shots. I love the details of the pictures on this one. 
as well. Radio was a big part of Will's life, especially in the 30s. Did a lot of radio shows. I think this one's my favorite because it's incredible detail of Will's home and ranch in California. I hope you get to get out there and see it sometime in the Pacific Palisades. It's a state park. Beautiful, beautiful detail. Even looking through the windows uh, back there of what uh, Joe Mora did and uh, the saddle there, uh, the knives and forks on the table. Uh, that table in the very back there, you can, Will's gum is there if you get to go out to the ranch. Uh, you can still see Will's gum underneath the table. He'd come in from chewing gum, stick it under the table. But the details of this, uh, there's the shaps there on the wall, the longhorn. And this is just a gorgeous uh, one that I just love to just look at because there are so many little things to see. And this is the study uh, there at his ranch in California. And we've got a replica of that here at the Will Rogers Memorial too, uh, measured to exact detail of the study he had when he was a writer. Did a lot of writing, wrote daily columns uh, for years up until the day he died. Uh, this is of his movie career. Uh, this is a Connecticut Yankee, uh, one of Mark Twain's books. And this one is also fascinating in the detail it did. That's Will sitting right there typing out his daily column uh, in between takes. So he'd usually type out his column uh, right before the deadline. Uh, you see a couple of the knights over there smoking, which is pretty neat, uh, having all these details in there. Uh, Will made 71 movies, 50 silence, and 21 talkies, and we do show Will Rogers movies at the memorial. One thing a lot of people didn't know is Will Rogers was a major humanitarian, and this is him flying to Nicaragua when there was a terrible earthquake down there. So Will just didn't just raise money from his friends and send it on out and give his own pocket, which he did a lot of, but but he would personally go to different places to help raise money. Of course, Nicaragua here, he went to the Mississippi Valley, flew over that, and raised a tremendous amount of money when they had terrible flooding there as well. And this, of course, is the plane crash in Alaska. Will and Wiley were flying through Alaska and heading to Point Barrow and got lost in the fog. Wiley landed in the lagoon to ask for directions, and when they took off, uh, the plane lost power and they crashed the lagoon, killing both men instantly. But, you know, Will Rogers said, live your life so that whenever you lose, you're ahead. And Will Rogers definitely did that. We hope you'll come out and visit the Will Rogers Memorial in our dioramas and visit willrogers.com for more information. And we hope to see you soon. Thank you.